everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Our Shansha Amazing episode will be answering the questions, How are sound waves transmitted? And how are sound waves Let's recall the definition of sound wave. A sound wave is a mechanical wave that results from the back and forth vibration of the particles of the medium through which the sound wave is moving. It is a mechanical, longitudinal wave. How is it transmitted? Consider the string of a guitar. When you strum it, the middle portion of the string moves to the right and it pushes the adjacent air. The air particles are compressed. The slight pressure pushes more air farther on, which in turn passes it on on the air still farther outward. When the strings start to move back to the left, the pressure of the adjacent air at the right begins to decrease, giving the air more room for expansion. As you follow the general pattern of motion, mapapansin ninyo, that the effect is that merong alternate pressing together and moving farther of the particle. The region where the particles are drawn closer to one another is the compression region, and the region where the molecules are drawn farther from one another is the rarefaction region. After transmitting the sound waves, Paano natin receive ang mga sound waves? We can receive sound waves through our ears. When the air molecules strike our ear, the eardrum or tympanic membrane is set into vibration by the column of air entering the external ear canal. The three tiny bones, malleus or hammer, incus or anvil, Sapis or stirrup help magnify the force that is then transmitted in terms of a pressure on the inner ear. These three bones, malleus, incus, and stapes, are also called ossicles. After traveling through the ossicles, the sound vibrations are transmitted through the liquid in our inner ear into the sensitive spiral shaped cochlea. In the cochlea, tiny hair cells are vibrated by the sound waves. The vibrations of these cells stimulate the nerve fibers that lead to the brain, specifically the auditory nerve, producing the sensation of sound. These signals are then delivered to our brain for processing. Take note! Vibrations which are too low or too high for the auditory nerves to respond are considered beyond the lower and upper limits of audibility. Ano ang sinasabing upper and lower limits? We will find out by discussing the sonic spectrum. The sonic spectrum is the frequency range over which longitudinal waves occur. Again, longitudinal waves are waves which travel parallel to the direction of motion. The well-defined upper limit is about 10 raised to 9 hertz. And the undefined lower limit belongs to the lowest recorded frequencies of earthquakes. Sa ansasonic spectrum ang tumutukoy sa sound? Sound refers to the range of wave frequencies to which the human ear can distinguish. Humans can hear from about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz 
And some animals can hear beyond us, just like elephants, dogs, cats, and other animals. That ends our discussion about the transmission and receiving of waves. Let's have a quick recap. In this Shansh Amazing episode, we talked about the sound as a wave, transmitting sound waves, receiving sound waves, parts of the ear, and the sonic spectrum and sound. It's good time! Let's check how much you have learned by answering this short 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, you will check if your answers are correct. Time's up. Number one. The hammer, anvil, and stirrup are the three tiny bones in our ear, also called blank. The answer is ossicles. They are located in the middle ear. Number two. The region where molecules are drawn farther from each other. Mas malalayong mga molecules. These are rare factions. Number three. It is the frequency range over which longitudinal waves occur. This is sonic spectrum. Number four, this part is set in vibration by the column of air in the external ear canal. Kapag nagta-travel na ang sound vibrations in the air, it vibrates one part of our ear. It is the eardrum. Number five, the region where the particles are drawn closer to one another 
mas magkakalapit ang mga particles or molecules? The answer is compressions. That ends our short quiz. We want to know your score. Please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!